the Celestron Origin got a brand new camera. Let's talk about it. Today we're talking about this guy, and you may ask, should I upgrade my current camera on the Celestron Origin? In this video, we're going to talk about this new 678 chip. I'm going to show you how to install it as well, and just show you one of the images that I just captured this past week with owning this camera. Until today, the Celestron Origin has shipped with a 178 color chip located on the front of your Celestron Origin optical tube. This has given us a 2.4 micron pixel count with a total pixel size of 3096 by 2080. This has been a beautiful camera to be able to explore the night sky with, with a total resolution of 6.4 megapixels. Unfortunately, with this new 678 camera, our field of view is not really going to change all that much. It's still roughly the same diagonal chip with an 8.9 millimeter diagonal size. However, the new camera chip delivers smaller pixels at 2 micron pixels, so this boasts more resolution for every single target that you try to capture. This also means we get a lot more pixels in that field of view. With a bump up to 3856 by 2180, this is a really nice increase in resolution that gives us a total of 8.4 megapixels up from that 6.4, so definitely higher quality images are going to be on the horizon for us. Of course, a lot of us, like myself, have been really anxious to see if Celestron comes out with a 585 chip, because that is about the sweet spot, because the Rasa 6 optical tube, which the Origin basically piggybacks off of, it is designed for a 16 millimeter diagonal chip, which of course would align very close to a 585 chip. But unfortunately, Celestron probably looked at the undersampling versus oversampling dilemma with this choice, because a 585 chip under certain scene conditions would actually deliver undersampled photos. Now a lot of us though that struggle with light pollution and turbulent air with the jet stream may not really have an issue with putting something like a 585 on here, so they probably went with a safer bet with this higher resolution version camera that we already have. Now this camera to upgrade if you're a current Origin user is going to cost you a whopping $499 to perform this upgrade. You can of course choose to send it into Celestron and have them do it, or you can watch a little bit further here and I'll show you exactly how to swap out the camera on the front of your Origin. Now $500 is a lot of money to spend on an upgraded camera, and really only you can decide if this is worth it. Personally, the 678 camera though boasts higher resolution, lower noise, and no amp glow. It also delivers smaller pixels, so it does have a lot of perks going for it, although you lose just a tiny bit of field of view if you're trying to go for those really wide objects, but mosaic mode is on the horizon for us because Celestron is promising to deliver that in the next couple of months. Mosaic mode, of course, will unlock a plethora of different targets for us by allowing us to stitch multiple images together to create an even wider field of view. This technology has been available on other smart telescopes now for quite a while, so it's nice to see that Celestron is joining the pack. Let's go ahead and install the new 678 camera so we can get shooting under the sky. First thing we're going to need to do to swap out our camera is to remove our dew shield from our optical tube. This will give us access to the camera components, which is what we need to do the swap. Once you have that removed, go ahead and remove your USB-C cable that connects to your origin camera. Just let that dangle towards the front. And this knurled ring here, we're going to unthread this, but make sure you hold the camera bracket while you're doing this so that the camera does not fall. Remove the camera completely from the housing like this, and you'll see the camera separates with the adapter pieces and your front of your origin optical tube is here. Do not touch anything, including the filter that you have installed. This is going to have that knurled ring here on the front and also this adapter piece. You're going to want to unthread these and remove these completely because this is what you're going to transfer over to your new camera. Once you removed those, there'll be two separate pieces. You're going to want to take both of those, and this is your old 178 camera. The next thing you need to do is remove this rubber casing on the outside of this camera. Just simply peel up from one side and it should come right off. 
Now I'll go ahead and get your new camera, put that rubberized piece on top of it. Now that you have your rubber casing installed on the new 678 chip, you're going to take those two adapter pieces. First, the knurled ring needs to go over the whole camera assembly like that. And then you need to take that other adapter and thread it right into the center part of the camera. You'll thread this all the way till it's snug. Now that it's snug, you can take the camera, align the Celestron logo with the horizontal axis like this. Just place it on the front. Now hold your camera, thread that adapter all the way on to the front of your objective. Once that is completed, install your USB-C cable and you are ready to take new calibration frames and explore the night sky with your new 678 camera. Now that you've installed your 678 color camera chip, it is very, very important that you go into your Origin app and take an entirely new set of calibration frames. This includes darks and flat frames. The old ones for the 178 camera are in no way compatible, so you need to redo an entire set of darks and flats to successfully be able to subtract any noise and any issues with dust from your images. This is very simple to do in the Origin app. Just hit the button that it says retake complete set of dark frames and also recapture the flat frames as well. The origin will automatically do all the calculations for the exposures and it'll take some time to run through that complete process. But believe me, it is worth it because calibration frames are essential to astrophotography. Now, the other thing is, though, you might be saying, well, what am I supposed to do with my old camera? Well, these little cameras are actually fitted with a universal QHY driver. So if you go on to QHY's website, download the driver for their planetary cameras, this camera will work on all the different softwares that support this type of a QHY 178 color camera. You can use this as a planetary camera for your schmidt cassegrain or reflector telescope. You can, of course, use this and do some deep sky imaging on a different rig if you choose. This does have full compatibility with a wide variety of software and applications. Now I haven't had a ton of time with the 678 camera just yet, but I did manage to capture a one hour total exposure of the Dumbbell Nebula not too long ago using this brand new camera. And the results are really quite nice. The stars look really good. The colors that it brought out in the Planetary Nebula with my dual narrowband filter are certainly really good as well. And I'm quite happy with the potential of this camera going forward. Thank you so much for joining along in this video about the new 678 camera chip. I hope you have a a lot of fun with your new camera. Happy imaging and clear skies to you all.